Wii 493 here with Digital Dojos, and today I'm going to be showing you the second video in the Learning HTML series, and I'll be going over links, tables, and lists. In the first video, I forgot to show you links, and they're fairly important, so I'll show them to you here. To do a link, you type the A tag, and then you add the href attribute, which stands for Hypertext Reference. This will be where your user actually goes once they click on the link. So we'll do google.com and we'll close out the tag and within the tags you'll type the text you want the user to actually click on so we'll say Google and when we go to preview we'll click on it and it'll take us to Google it's very easy to set up and now I'll show you the target attribute target and you can add a couple different things but the most common one is blank this will actually open up the link in a new tab or a new window so you see when I click on it it opened in a new tab. This is like what YouTube uses in the description of videos so that when you click on the link it actually opens in a new tab instead of um, stopping the progress of your video and going to the other web page. So now I'll show you tables. To do a table you just type the table tag. Very simple. And there's a lot of attributes you can add to table. I'll just right now I'll go over border. Um, set a border of one pixel. So within a table, you have rows and columns. So you start out with table rows. So within the rows, you have your data. In the table rows, start a row, and the TDs, or table data, start a column. So we'll do column 1, and then we'll add another TD, and we'll add column 2. <coughs> so if we preview this now, it just got two side-by-side -side columns and we can add more rows and we'll add the table data of uh, info and we can just add some more more info and we preview it and it's got our column 1, column 2 and info and more info so these are our, our TRs or table rows and these are our TDs or table columns. So we can um, adjust our TDs. <coughs> we can align them um, left, right, or center. Um, automatically they're aligned left. We can try right. Let's we'll see if you can notice a big difference. It's hard to tell because our width isn't very big, but actually that's another attribute you can add to the table tag is width. You can specify uh, percentages or pixels. So we could do 25%, and it'll do 25% of the web page. So it's got it's going over 25% of our page, and our uh, column one is aligned to the right. So what if you want to add a heading to your table? Well, to do that, we'll add another table row at the very top, and within the row, we'll add a th table heading, and um, we'll type in table title and we only want one heading for our entire table but we need multiple rows or multiple columns but we can't we don't want to just add another th and do it that way because I would have a border in between um, I'll just show you we'll have a border in between and we just want one title across the whole entire top so to do that we will remove the second column and on the th attribute, we'll add the attribute call span, C-O-L-S-P-A-N, and we'll set it to two. So it's going to span two columns. It's going to span the column one and span column two. So when we preview it, the th attribute has actually bolded it and centered it, centered it for us automatically. So table heading is very useful. Um, minimizes the code you have to write to center and align um, text in a heading. So you've got your TRs and your TDs. Um, you can also add some attributes to the TRs. Um, BG color, just like on the body. You can specify the background color. We'll do blue. You can see it's made our background blue here. You can also do the background colors for individual um, cells. So we can do this red. So you mostly you wouldn't really want to be doing blue and red background colors, but you could do a, uh, a light gray um, we can do that and it'll be a, a really light gray it might be hard to see on the video 
but that's a very light gray, so you can alternate the table uh, row background colors. That adds a very nice effect to your web page. So you can also add some cell padding and cell spacing. So cell padding will save five pixels, and this will actually be the space around the TDs and the THs. You'll see it's kind of added space um, to the left of here and to the right of here and to the top and bottom of both. And you can also add cell um, spacing, which will add five pixels of that. So when you preview, you'll see it's added space in between the actual borders around it. We can increase this to 15 so it's a little more obvious. And you'll see it's, it's added 15 pixels here, 15 pixels here, 15 pixels here, all the way around each TD. So after tables, we'll show you um, lists. There's a couple different types of lists. I'm just going to go over ordered and unordered. We'll start off with ordered lists, which is just OL. So it's an OL tag, and then within the OL tag, you type LI for line. So we'll type in Yahoo, Google, and Facebook. So we've got our list here, and it's ordered one, two, three, and it's ordered it for us automatically. So we've got um, our list, and you can change the style of the ordering by typing type, the type attribute, to the ordered list. You can choose numerical, um, uppercase alphabetical, lowercase alphabetical, capitalized um, Roman numeral, and lowercase Roman numeral. So we'll do, do lowercase alphabetical. We preview. It's got ABC now. So that's very simple. And now I'll show you unordered list. So an unordered list is UL. You still add the same LI attributes. And we'll, we'll go ahead and add the same yeah, Google, Yahoo, Facebook. And when we preview, you'll see now this is not ordered. It just got bullet points. You can also add the type attribute to this, um, which will allow you to change what the bullets look like. We can add circle, which is a non-filled in bullet. We can add um, square which is a square, and then you can also add disk, which is a bullet point. So that's it for this video. I hope you learned a lot about links, tables, and lists. The tables and links are probably the most useful. You won't use lists very often, but you might start using unordered list once we get to CSS for navigation bars. But that's it for this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe to Digital Dojos, and check out our website at digitaldojos.com. Thanks for watching.